Hello, my awesome and amazing Aries. It's Melba Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. We got the power of number three, number 12, and 11. Wow. Okay. Looks like we're going to <clears throat> the number 26. Some of you Aries are dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. And yes, a lot of you Aries were born in the month of April. That is true. Pisces energy coming in again through the number 12. However, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You might be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius born in the month of November. You could also be dealing with one of the fixed signs of the Zodiac that would include Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. Scorpio and Aries energy coming in through the number 16. However, some of you could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. Strong Scorpio energy coming back in again through the number 13. We could see possibly the Empress kick in, the Hanged Man, the Justice card. And yes, some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra more specifically. We could see the Tower card. Any of the pages, the aces, the knights, the queens, possibly the world card. This could talk about social media platforms. Maybe you are at a distance from this person or you could have met this person online. Something about the foundation between you and this person was not exactly stable or when this person came into your life, Aries, it was very much unexpected. So we're going to see what the power of number 26 is bringing in between you and your specific person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Also, too, some of you Aries could be 21, 22, 23, or 26 years of age. Others of you could be 31, 32, or 36 years old. For my more mature audience, you could be 61, 62, or 63 years old, or maybe some of you were born in 1961, 1962, or possibly 1963. Trusted ancestors of my Aries viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? From Aries, a person unto them, show me what's up. Mm. This person, Aries, could be getting back on solid ground, or they could be recently single, or they still are single and may not be dealing with a third-party situation anymore. We have the Nine of Coins. Some of you are dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn more specifically. It almost appears that maybe this person could be getting their life back together, or maybe it's you, Aries, who had no choice but to really focus in on yourself despite the pain or the sorrow or anguish that this person brought upon you. Hmm. Be mindful, they may be coming in, especially during this Mercury retrograde of 2024. Mercury retrograde started on August 5th and runs all the way until around about August 28th. 
You might be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person has a lot to say or they want to come back in and sweep you off your feet. Mm. Let's see what they're bringing in. Ah, they also could be viewing you, uh, Aries, as being strong, confident, independent, or they're wanting a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. Some of you could have even had children with this person. Power of number three came up on the first roll of the dice. Again, you could be dealing with a Pisces or another Aries born in the month of March. However, the Empress can also represent the signs of Taurus and also Libra. Mm. They either want to have a family with you or maybe you had a desire to build a family with this person. They might not have been ready for this long-term commitment, but they definitely want a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. Here we go. We have the Knight of Cups coming in through the after tarot. You might be dealing again with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. You know, this person, Aries, may also like to hit up the bars a lot, or they could be masking over a lot of deep-rooted emotions with some form of a substance. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. In this case, this Knight of Cups is also drinking they could have put their friends before you or their family members before you in this partnership. Mm, they've been keeping a close eye on you like a hawk or a falcon, okay? They definitely have some deeply rooted uh, truths. They want to have victory and success. They also want to have a fresh new start, a brand new beginning. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini more specifically. It is about the truth. They've been suppressing the truth. They've been suppressing the truth of their emotions. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them will be going into singlehood. Yeah, they're heavily spying in on you page of swords or seeking out information, wondering what you're up to, where your life is at. They may even be wondering if you are technically with someone else right now. Mm. A lot of you could have mutual close friends between you and this person. You will reap what you sow. They, they're fully well aware that they did not invest all of their time and energy into this connection. They never really gave it a chance to come into full bloom in order to reap the harvest. But I feel like they want to rebuild something because we have two cards that are indicating a new beginning. I think they're trying to strategize on how they're going to break the ice with you, Aries. Aries energy coming in again through the Fool card. Again, it's power of number zero, fresh new start, brand new beginning. Mm. This person could be willing to dive into the deep end. They may not exactly have a full entire plan of action of how they're going to make this connection work with you. It's almost like a wing and a prayer, living on a prayer, John, Bo <laughs> John Bon Jovi, okay? So they know they want it. Some of you guys are a dog owner. Why do they want a fresh new start, a brand new beginning with Aries, please? <laughs> My goodness, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius more specifically because they feel defeated. Something didn't work out for them, Aries. Nope. They feel lost without you. They're wanting things to be different, or maybe you're still wanting things to be different with them. So that's like, if they're wishing, then they're daydreaming about you. 
How am I going to make this work with Aries? How am I going to get them to trust me again? They're a little concerned. A lot of you were dealing with a very cocky person, though. <laughs> you came closer than anyone. Sure. When you walk away from the gift and you think the grass is greener on the other side, yeah, you're going to get nothing but trash or less than favorable outcomes. So, yeah, nobody came closer to you. I think they're in some form of heavy regret. Mm. There were red flags about this person or spirit could be trying to send them the red flags if they're dealing with a third party, if it's distractions that are in and around them. But spirit was forewarning you too, Aries, and a lot of you decided to hang on. You know, you were hanging by a cliff, basically, not in the literal sense, but on an emotional level. It says the signs are cautioning you. So fair warnings forearm. This person definitely is going to try to come back. But listen, they need to they need to put in the work. The bottom line, their words need to match up with their actions. It's as simple as that. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So a lot of you are bound and determined to manifest this person or this person is manifesting you. They wanted to take the easy way out. They were challenged by you, Aries. That's what I'm also hearing, that they were challenged by you and that they were a little bit intimidated. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. Well, whose fault is that? Things moved so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feelings for you. They had a lot of insecurities about this relationship, Aries. That's on them, not you. They were kind of living in a little bit of a fantasy world. la di da di da That's why it's like, you know, when they had the real deal in their hands, now they're in this depleted energy. Something did not work out over yonder. They thought that they were going to get better, and they didn't, bottom line. But now it's like now they're trying to gain momentum here in order to have a new beginning with you. So, you know, the Mercury retrograde sometimes can bring people out of the woodwork. And maybe you just have this clear sense of knowing, Aries, that this person definitely is going to pop back up on the horizon again. You could just feel it. For a lot of you, you could just absolutely feel it my awesome and amazing aries if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant victoria will book you for that personal reading i am running a summer reading special for questions for 25 dollars. so if you like to get on my current recording schedule again email me at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. My awesome Aries, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.